According to the National Alliance on Mental Illness, nearly one in every five adults experience mental illness every year. It's something that impacts a lot of people in our community, and tomorrow's Emotion in Motion race aims to be part of the solution. WIFF News 4's Peyton Furtado is learning more about how this race could change countless lives for the better. She's lacing up and taking us to the story. It's a race to the finish line as folks get ready for tomorrow's Emotion in Motion race. The race will raise awareness for mental health in the region while raising money for organizations that help people with addictions, eating disorders, and disabilities, among other things. The Myers Center has worked in the community with children who have disabilities for nearly 70 years, helping to teach kids to walk, talk, and get ready to attend school. This race will help children who might not otherwise be able to afford services like this, it's scholarships like this, Director Shannon Spurrier says, that were able to help one child say I love you to her mother for the first time. She was able to point to the symbols on the device and it said I love you mommy. And um, just the tears that flowed from that mom being able to hear her child finally say I love you, you know, it's something that a lot of people take for granted every day. The race kicks off tomorrow morning at 830 at the Conesty Nature Preserve. It will feature a 5K and a one mile run. And even if you don't run tomorrow, you can still come out and support the folks who do by cheering them on, volunteering, or donating. We'll have more about that on WYFF4.com. In Greenville, I'm Peyton Furtado for WYFF News 4.